Hello and welcome. I'll be showing you in this video how you can edit your own files of Cyberpunk 2077 to adjust the way you walk and your dodge button to make your experience feel better. All these changes you can do yourself. You don't need any programs except Notepad and just slight understanding of what I'm about to show you. It is not difficult, so try to follow along. As I show right now, you can see your feet and the way you walk. This is a normal walk. You're actually strolling and walking very, very fast. And this is gonna be some immersion breaking if you're trying to roleplay a little. Now obviously if you wanna walk, this is how you wanna walk. And that's actually possible. Now one other thing that I did, instead of just this, I also managed to find a way to map the keys to the dodge. Instead of just having to do this, tap or how many times you want, uh, you can actually map it to a key of your choice. Literally, I'm using the mouse for key right now, and I am easily going in any direction I want without an issue. Okay, now this is the part that is going to be a bit confusing for some if you haven't done this before, but don't worry, it's not that difficult. Now, what you want to do is just have your icon, if you have your icon, if you don't have it, you can just go to the same location that uh, it's installed in with your either GOG, good old games, or if you have the Steam version. You just go to your location of your folder. Obviously, it's not here. So you go back to the main folder and you go to the folder that says R6. You open that, you go into your config, and then now this is a place where you want to be. You want to find the XML documents. Now, before we do this, I would highly, highly recommend making copies of the files that we're going to be editing in case something were to happen or maybe you're not pleased with the changes. Simply make a copy, click and copy. Now, these files, when you click on them, you won't be able to open them. But the way you open them is right click, open with notepad. Now, you want to open either both at the same time or separately, but now we're going to start with the input.context file. Here, what you want to do is instead of scrolling down to finding the exact lines that we're looking for, you can, you can just press Control F and you'll get the find option. If you can't, you can find it here. Find. Now here you want to type multi and click on down. This way, when it's on down, it will bring you down to the next line that says multi. This way, you can easily find what you're looking for. Here is not the place we're looking for, it's a little bit down. This is where we want to be. Multi-tap actions. Now what this does is, this is the place where you want to edit how many times it takes for you to dodge while either pressing forward right back or left for me myself i made this three times so every time i pl press the button three times it will then dodge by default it's a two if you don't want to have the dodge or any of the keys to accidentally dodge you can make it to 99 and that is the way you can avoid accidentally dodging now if you want to bind the dodge key simply put here one which will mean that whenever you click a button, it will dodge just by clicking it once. Now, once we've done this, we move on to the next step. Before we go any further, do not forget to save the file. Now, we minimize that and we go to the next one. Input user. We do the same thing. We open it the same way. And we do the mappings. Here, you don't even have to scroll anywhere. It's, it, it's right here. So now, what you want to do... Yours will look a bit different. You'll be missing these. And what you want to do is you just want to do these. Now what these do, I will explain very simply. They're copies of these. And you're just going to be creating a new button input. That is it. That, that's what it is. You're just adding a directional input. And you are going to create the values. Instead of 1, which is a regular speed, you'll be making it 0. So 0 means you won't be moving. 
So the same way, when I pressed the button C to walk, I did not walk because the input value is zero. But whenever I moved, it moved with slower pace, which means you were able to walk instead of running. And now what I want you to do is I pretty much want you to copy this, write it the same way, it's simple, and then do this as well, down here. Now these are just directional. This is forward, this is backwards, this is right, this is left. That's what it is. Depending on the button that you want to use for walking, you just change this one right here. So for example, if you want to use mouse 4, just type like this. Like that. And that should get the job done. And now let's do the key binding of the dodge. The same way we did it before, you do control F and you want to search dodge. And now down here, the first time you get it, it says controller specific dodge here you want to add this line with this you can still have pretty much like the top one a dedicated key to use for the specific thing you've chosen which is dodge in this case now you can do that put whatever key you want and now you can just save and you're done these are the simple things that not a lot of people explain in videos and they should because it's not that hard you can easily change these inputs yourself without any issues. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit how to make Cyberpunk a little bit more playable and experience the RPG elements and try to fully immerse yourself in the game without feeling too bad that the studio didn't include these things by default. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.